Okay, ladies, here I am. It is late at night, but I told my mom to turn on the damn bright light up in the living room because I'm gonna do my flip through for you for this week. I'm using, I'm adding some little um, Bloom Paper Company um, dots that they sent me, the ones I talked to you guys about last week, but I wanna give you guys what the view is going to be like for the week ahead. So I did add, I decided to go ahead and use this one, that Papermate uh, Flare, just the medium. I'm using this one, I've already had it, I did not buy any new pens, but I figure, you know how I've been talking the last several weeks, like you pre-plan, but then there's gonna be things that get canceled or you screw up on and you don't even get them done. That one, because it's such a medium point and it doesn't bleed through or ghost on the Franklin Covey Carrera inserts, I figured that one's gonna help me from a bird's eye view, just be able to take a look at it. Things that I changed up. So this was in the very back of my Tyler binder the last several weeks, but I wasn't really reading it out. It's a bold affirmation. So Keller Williams, we have some affirmations and words, et cetera. So I pulled that up. I brought it up to where I can literally see the whole affirmation. I put my Ollie clip right there to hold it at an angle. It actually worked perfect because the Tyler binder's got that angle right there. So it fits it perfect so that way it doesn't fall out or fall uh, crooked. I've got my script cards there if I need them. I still have my, um, the lined post-it notes, a few of those, and I have just two of the Samantha Root, those old post-its that I had uh, for my real estate stuff. So still using the standard post-it, different size tabs. I'll show you guys where I applied some of those for this this week, but there they are. I take them all out, get messy with it because... You got to get messy with your planning stuff, in my opinion. Um, I am not, that is totally carb loading today. It's like a Mexican treat. And then I got Celsius. That is keto friendly. But anyway, so daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, that's those cards that I use um, that still have that uh, fortune cookie, uh, fortune right there, keeping it. These are all the important um, phone numbers and review and pay slots that I need to work on. The logins and the passwords. I've got the to be mailed pocket still, and then I have all of my pens. I'm happy to report that this is still very much working. This week I got even better at using my color coordinating skills for my subjects, which is awesome. Not 100% perfect, but who the hell is week over week. And we are all about progress, not perfection, right? I did add my Sharpie um, highlighter because I have not bought any new ones, but I would like to finish those out. And then I still have these other Sharpie ones, just the more simple. So there's that. I do have the card, so you will be happy to know. I added the cards. I gave away one last week, so that means I have to refill it. And then I still have four left. I had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with... Um, somebody from BNI. So I was able to talk to Anthony last week. He gave me a couple of his cards. So I put them right there in case I need to refer someone. Carrara, my insert right there that I've always had since the beginning that we started recording the Carrara inserts and in the Tyler binder right there. The rings, you guys, are still very much holding tight. I'm really impressed with that. This right here, so you can see that it kind of opens a little bit, but it's not falling off. So it's just, again, the weight of the planner, I think. I, I, I really am using it as a true everyday binder, so there's just some weight on it. But it's not compromised. It's not falling off. It's not tearing or anything. So I did a couple changes in here. Um, the monthly, I still have monthly. I've looked through there today. Just added a couple things. Um, so Natalie and Matt, one of my clients, they're actually scheduled to close on their house on the 25th. All is running smooth. Still have uh, Hayden's counseling stuff. And um, I had Jen's closing in um, two of them actually. So let me go ahead and I'm going to, I'm actually gonna show you guys real life because I forgot to highlight these. So let's go ahead and Jen, Jen, those are done, right? And that is done. Um, okay, and that is done. So there we go. Um, prayers, I do need to, um, Add one more person, so next week I'll show that I have an extra person on there. But the people of the month are Hayden, my son, and then Michael, my ex-husband, as you guys know. So we're gonna go ahead and nothing, I didn't add anything compared to last week, so that looks exactly the same as what it has weekly. So I'm gonna hop on over to my weekly, 
And so this was the week before, started color coordinating, right? So I want to, on purpose, I'm going to show you guys, those of you that are new to my channel, y'all, I literally do not blank anything out. And the reason is because I'm trying to show you real life. Dude, if y'all steal any of my private information, what I'm going to tell you is the same thing I say every week. Please take the bills and the shit show that comes along with all of my stuff. All right, so here's what we look like. Purple is personal stuff, blue is work, orange is miscellaneous tasks, and then black has also become part of my work stuff because last week I screwed up and couldn't find the damn blue pen, but now it's blue and black for the month of May. I still, my compass card is staying exactly the same that it was last week. I did not change that for two reasons. One of them is because I forgot to bring damn compass cards with me from Arizona, so I'm being lazy, but also because I still need to work on exactly the same things. So what's the point of changing it up if it can stay the same, right? It did work what I tried last week of keeping the compass card in the weekly area versus trying to keep it somewhere else. This works perfect, so that's where it is. And then I have the rest of my stuff. IRS payment due. Who else drives those damn things? Okay, so still I moved the tab. Last week I had this tab there. I still moved it over this week because that worked for me. So when you're looking at your planner tabs, it's just kind of an easy, I can go and I can grab that one knowing that that's where the week is versus having to grab the clear tab and then scroll through several pages. My daily, so my daily divider, I'm gonna come over here, my today. The today is the actual magnifying, it's the magnifying uh, Franklin Covey divider. Still have my makels on there. This I've been carrying for a few weeks now, so you can see that it looks a little bit aged, but it's still very much sticking there. That's my color coordinating. Um, this I put today sticker. I had these extra stickers in that I'm trying to get rid of because I'm trying to be responsible. So there it is. I added the dots. So this week, that's where I was saying I added some of these transparent dots. You guys, I wouldn't necessarily go around buying them quite yet. I am having a love-hate. I think they are super cute. I mean, is it going to make me plan better or execute any better than what I'm trying to do? I mean, the answer is hell no, but whatever. Still keeping scripture down there. That's important to me. Mail the IRS payment. I have to mail it out tomorrow so that it arrives by the due date of the 22nd. Doing my gym session in Starbucks. So gym session, color purple, but it was supposed to be pink for self-care. So I just added some handwritten pink hearts, right? I've got some of stuff that I've got to do for Hayden tomorrow. I've got a one-on-one, -on -one, so I just added a quick Zoom meeting sticker because I'm trying to get rid of these stickers. And then I've got some stuff that I've got to do for Hayden. Um, I've got to take it to his inpatient tomorrow since I'm here in town. Nine o'clock, so one of my habits I'm trying to continue doing because I finished the Audible 100%, but I still have the physical book of Shift that I need to finish reading. So I just put on there that every night at 9 p.m. I need to read. I did not give myself a time rather just read because if I read that's more progress than what I'm doing when I'm doing nothing. May goals are right there. Three closings were my goal for May and I have two already so I just need one more. That's my mom's dog. Um, I highlighted like I have been every week highlighting the quotes at the very top. I have um, a post-it right there. I need to order my continuing education classes in real estate. We have to do those every couple years because I'm in two states. I do them in two different states so this one is for Texas they are due by damn May 31st. I got to do 18 hours. Lord have mercy and help me. Okay, so here we go. So we have the next, this is going to be for Tuesday. As you can see, remember, in my opinion, is this. Just, this is all about pre-planning. Your calendar is going to continue filling up as the week goes by. Who cares? Just get this stuff kind of going and planning so you can start seeing where you are. The more that you write it down, the more that your brain's going to remember, but also more important um, you can start kind of seeing what you've got where you're stacked if you're too top heavy like hey I'm actually supposed to be working somewhere so why am, is my whole calendar nothing but personal right or miscellaneous crap because you don't need a whole lot of miscellaneous crap it means you're not doing something right so you got that I've got this one is Thursday so kind of a busy day already um, I've, I've got my clients that are closing the 25th their appraisal is supposed to come in and once that comes in then we need to get some signatures on a document that's required for the lender. I've got work stuff so membership leadership council meeting I sit on a board um, or a committee I should say and then I've got a, an advisory zoom call I was asked to participate with to help them with my opinion. Baker's got last day of school got to drop off the stuff from Ms. Hinderlight or his teacher to tell her thank you Jesus for putting up with him all school year. And then right over here, so Jen, I'm, I have to go take her somewhere, but um, 
we might be doing lunch with her girlfriend. So I didn't want to mucky up my planner quite yet with it because it's not definitive. So I just put the post-it. And then I need to buy Natalie and Matt their welcome home gift. So that's why I put the tab. This though is a flexible thing. I might do it on Saturday or I might do it Sunday or I might do it tomorrow, just whatever. So I'll pop that one off. And then I have, so I wanna show you here too. So 8.15 is going to be my goal on Friday to get to the gym because I know that I have to take Jen and that usually takes me a few hours to help her. But I put my miscellaneous orange drive time, right? And then I have to get ready for the day. And then I have to have some white space because then I've got some admin work tasks. So my two cents is make sure that you're giving yourself some of that orange pen if you're color coordinating of white space or drive time because or else you're going to be booking back to back and stress the hell out. Uh, another wanting to get a sticker out of the way, but Ally transfer. So we're still doing that Ally card. Um, so every single Friday, Jacqueline has asked me to transfer our weekly money every Friday like clockwork. So IRS payment due, damn IRS is chasing me like it does everybody else. So I had to remind myself it's there. And then for Sunday, so this are tasks that I need to get done, but remember, post-it notes to me with this kind of stuff is either it can move with itself, right? Or it's just a, literally a post-it of just a mental note that I need to have. It's not an A priority for me uh, necessarily on Sunday. So this is what I've got, planning, plan and record, finish the planner, record and post because I am trying to get that to you guys on Sunday nights. So that way we are ready to kick ass and take names on Monday. So Hayden's counseling is pre-planned on Monday. It's National Brothers Day. That's all I've got so far. That's what I'm working on. But then you have over here. So I told you guys that I'm trying to get in track with the tracker, like the health and habit tracker. This right here is update me. You see that damn thing's talking to me. So I put one of these post-its on it. I, again, in true, came to Texas and forgot to bring a couple of these forms. So the health and fitness tracker I just marked through and put that it's the week of May 16th. I color coordinated that the pink is gonna be for this week, the 16th, and I just put it underneath. Why? Because I didn't write this whole damn thing, right? I didn't use all of this, so I just marked through that, was like, suck it up, cupcake, your brain's not gonna shrivel up and die by recycling and using something extra. As of right now, I've got Monday and I've got Friday for doing the gym stuff. I put the square so I can just write the minutes down. Every day I need to do my three bottles of water, so they are there every day, and then my steps I'm gonna be marking every day. My habit, so Holy Bible app, pre-plan my day the night before, and then do reading. You guys, look how damn long this thing is. So I am condensing, proud of myself, HBA, HBA, Holy Bible app, and then pre-plan and read. As I'm doing these, so my thought here is I'm doing the, that for the first three days up until Wednesday to see if that works okay because I'm planning on highlighting those versus having to like micromanage and write out more. These will have numbers, that will have highlights, and those will have numbers. Make sense? So there is that. Now on the show you in true lady fashion. So I kind of sketched out what my um, project is going to be, kind of my first goal. Nothing has been done, ladies, but it is there. So that is progress. So nothing new there. Nothing new over here, nothing new in the client files, and nothing new in my notes. Very much just staying the same right now. My stickers are right back here still, so I still have those. I popped those out. They were all sprawled all over the place right now while I was trying to get some planning done. And then back here, I moved my Ollie clip that was in the front. I moved it to the back because I don't need that one right now per se, but I didn't want to leave it at home. And then or get it lost, because you guys know I'm infamous for losing my all eclipse. I've got my stamps right there, and then I've got my envelopes right there. My mom's nagging my brother, so if you hear that, it's her nagging. Um, being a typical mom. So there you go. So that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to stop by the Facebook page. It's in the description if you need the link. And then um, I also have my Instagram channels. If you guys are following, awesome news for you. So I have um, talked to Franklin Covey and it looks like I might be able to get an affiliate link. And if I do, then it means that we will have a discount code, ladies. I'm so excited. So there you go. That's what I have. Um, as far as my note section, I will go over that one um, 
I don't know tomorrow, but maybe we'll do Tuesday. Maybe if you guys would like to see more of the post or if you guys prefer just on Sunday nights or whatever, kind of comment to me what frequency you'd like, but still very much have my doors mouse. I've very much been using um, the note section. It's definitely getting filled up. And then I did start with my gratitude. So I have one page of gratitude so far. I did that one on the 13th and I'll be working on that tonight before I go to bed. So I've got Dormouse right there and then I have my Moterm over in my purse um, using as my wallet. So with that said, I am going to close out. I gotta get a little bit of my reading done. I gotta get to bed at somewhat of a decent time because I put that I'm gonna go work out at damn eight o'clock in the morning and do my gratitude. So I love you guys. See you and anything at all that you wanna talk about. Here's my face. This is literally what I'm looking like right now. Um, any topics that you guys wanna cover, life, marriage, divorce, um, struggles with damn kids, um, depression, anxiety, anything. Whatever you guys wanna talk about, you comment below, let me know, and I'd love to cover the topic. And I'll see you guys later, bye.